Hello everybody, just wanted to say that Acts 2 is not your gospel, Acts 2 is not your gospel, um, you are still in prophecy, hence the prophet Joel speaks of what is prophesied in the last days and whenever you see prophecy uh, that is related to Israel under the law, it's not related to the body of Christ because the whole of the body of Christ was a mystery kidding God from before the foundation of the world so Acts 2 you still are clearly in Israel's program Peter tells you that you are in Israel's program by saying four times you're men of Judea you're men of Israel and uh, he was the head of the messianic church already in existence it was not the beginning of the church of the body of Christ and yes there are different churches yes there are different gospels and uh, different baptisms and uh, you know religionists make everything all you know just everything is one um, but you need to rightly divide uh, the word of truth and you need to understand uh, who God is speaking to at the time what church it is what was the purpose uh, of him doing it uh, you know are you in times past uh, Genesis 2 Acts 9 are you in the but now ages uh, you can read this in Ephesians 2 or are we in the ages to come which is Hebrews through Revelation and we're not there yet so getting your doctrine from uh, those books other than the but now age which is the current dispensation of the grace of God age the church age uh, where the body of where Jesus Christ uh, is forming his body the body of Christ which is only mentioned in Romans through Philemon you will not see it mentioned outside of Romans through Philemon because it's a mystery it's one of the mysteries mysteries and uh, in the same way you don't find the rapture which is another mystery outside of Romans through Philemon uh, the rapture will end the dispensation of the grace of God Acts 2 is not your gospel because the covenant of the circumcision from Genesis 17 is still firmly in place please read Ephesians 2 11 to 15 for details on that that we were strangers from the covenants and from the promises and the Commonwealth of Israel having no hope then Paul goes on to say but now you've been made nigh by the blood of Christ uh, so you need to take heed to this you need to pay attention stop listening to any old lie your pastor tells you Acts 2 38 repent be baptized for the remission of your sins temporal and uh, you know be water baptized and you shall receive the, the gift of the Holy Spirit so after water you received the gift of the Holy Spirit uh, during the dispensation of grace by the Holy Spirit you are baptized into the body of Christ there is a huge difference and if you look in Acts 2 there's not one Gentile in Acts 2 they're all proselytes and the dialects they're mentioned but I'll see that's uh, when Pentecostals claim that is tongues that is garbage they were languages spoken languages understood for which you need an interpreter um, and they understood each other including all of the dialects you're not doing that today uh, Acts 2 is not your gospel four times uh, Peter who is ahead of the already existing pre-existing messianic church not the church the body of Christ and you've got different churches in the book of Revelation as well and you also have the church in, in the wilderness but we'll leave that a separate argument um, Peter says four times, you're men of Judea, you're men of Israel, um, and you're under the law. It's Pentecost. It's a Jewish feast. The body of Christ is not under the law. The Holy Spirit will never lead you to be put under the law. And the reason Ananias and Sapphira were killed by the Holy Spirit, you know, why is that not happening today? Acts 2, 38. Everybody Acts 2, for repent, be baptized. The Baptists, of course, love that one. But it's not one of them. That is Acts 2, 44 to 45, just seven verses on nobody's laying all of their belongings all of their possessions at the hands of the apostles and why were they doing that it's the same as what uh, jesus christ was saying in matthew 10 go from town to town and don't you know take with your silver or worry about your your cloak silver or gold and just preach the gospel why because they were expecting the tribulation and god would have provided for them supernaturally had they believed on the lord jesus christ so repent and be baptized was an indictment against israel oh, what must we do you killed your messiah what are we going to do to be saved yeah 
He put the guilt on him. It's an indictment against Israel. There's no death, burial, resurrection for all of your sins being complete in Christ, accepted in the beloved, and saved by grace through faith. Now we're in Matthew, Mark, Luke, or John, and it's certainly not in Acts 2. And uh, if you are alive today and you've held on to your possessions, that is because you are not in Acts 2, it's still in prophecy, it's still to Israel, it's still under the law, it's still signs and wonders, and it's prophecy of the end of days. 5,000 were added. It's not the beginning. You can only add to an existing church, right? Don't be deceived. What does uh, the lower part of Acts 2 say? This is what Joel prophesied. So whenever you see prophecy... You never see the body of Christ because it was a mystery. So, Satan has blinded people and eventually everybody goes to Pentecost because they've been lied to by Satan in Bible colleges and Christians, well-meaning Christians, possibly saved Christians, I, I feel so. If you believe the death, burial, resurrection, you're saved. Um, they are uh, deceived and uh, the general consensus, which is always wrong, you know, look at the minority following Jesus, hence the little flock, not the big flock. The little flock is always a narrow gate. The general consensus is the Acts 238 position. And again, it's wrong. Uh, you're in Pentecost, the Jewish feast. We're not under the, you're under the law. We're under grace. It's in prophecies to Israel. We're in a body, we're, we're forming, Jesus Christ is forming a body of Christ, which is a heavenly uh, body. They were waiting for the tribulation. We're waiting for the rapture. Guys, you need to rightly divide the word of truth. And, and people hate it. And, um, and, uh, and uh, just generally the truth is actually hated because it's just contrary to what you believed. And uh, until people really understand how powerful Satan is and how he's deceived. I mean, he would never think of deceiving Bible college, would he? On the church father. Because if that would happen, oh, imagine if he did that. Then every pastor, every church, yeah, would then, then teach that the Acts 2 is there. Why? Because you're getting out the dispensation of grace and you're starting to preach a works based gospel. Because if you're in Acts 2, then you're also in Matthew, Mark, Luke and John and you are stealing from Israel not only what doesn't belong to you, but just what you like. The Pentecostals would take the the the, the, the crazy stuff they go on about in church, which is, by the way, you never see, it's for a sign for unbelievers and uh, not for the believers. And Paul said, if you speak that in the church, people will think you're mad. And then, by the way, these were foreign languages, which were spoke of at the time when the Bible was not complete. And so you would have had to have prophecy. Uh, and, uh, you know, Paul spoke in different tongues, languages. And uh, when the Bible was not complete in those areas, Italy, Ephesus, you'd have had to understand what the rest of the Holy Spirit is, is writing down with Paul and what else, what else is going on. But now we have the complete Bible, Colossians 1.25. Uh, your word is in the Bible and Romans through Philemon is our word today. It's blas blasphemous to say, you know, but I see blah, 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 blah. Oh, God's given me on top of the Bible extra revelation. And then when they have their, their, their uh, debate, it's normally God tell me to, told me to tell you that you must repent, blah, 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 blah. Garbage. They're lying. Um, so you go and take that. The Baptist will take Acts 2.38. You know, I've gone in the water. I'm really proud. You know, I've gone in the water. It's the first sign of obedience, the outer demonstration of faith, whatever the, the garbage is. And then seven seven verses down, that's their disobedience because they've not um, laid down their possessions at the, at the foothold of the apostles because they don't understand the Bible and they refuse to. And it's, yeah, again, I'll make these little videos Videos, but it's coming a day when if you don't repent and when I mean repent it's not turn from all your sins that's another massive lie I could do these videos for hours really because it's just so ma the majority of Christians just believes a pack of lies uh, and they kind of like it as well but when your heart beats your last you're you know, the Bible's very clear that your works would be burnt up and you trust in your pastor a lot of these people are not even saved 
you're lazy and uh, you need to believe the words on the page not your pastor I mean believe your pastor if he teaches exactly what the Bible says and he's a good teacher but if he's teaching that your spiritual Israel that the church started in Acts 2 then you're actually disobedient and clueless and uh, you'll never understand the Bible you'll be wondering how come you're not raising the dead how come you can't drink deadly poisons and you know you're taking you know the Baptists will have the water the Pentecostals will have the tongues and the other guys uh, in Africa will be showing pictures of them raising the dead and they all giving them you know you see them coming in a white suit in a Rolls Royce in the jungle and be the reason you mock Benny Hinn but they're only uh, they're only there all these big uh, rich billionaires millionaires because you don't rightly divide the word of truth you've made them rich and uh, there you go. So you need to understand the difference between prophecy and mystery. Israel from Genesis to Acts 9 uh, and then Hebrews through to Revelation. And we are currently in the dispensation of the grace of God. And all of the Bible is, is true. You need to study it. You need to understand it. I've got so much to learn myself. It's hard. In actual fact, more I go on, more I realize how much I've got to learn. I was just praying a moment ago and I said, Lord, I just wish I'd gotten saved so early in my life to really understand. It's not easy. But uh, I know that what I believe is true. Also, with regards to biblical cosmology, I mean, uh, uh, just very briefly, uh, I can't see myself spinning at uh, whatever thousand miles an hour. I'm on the equator. I should be spinning at a thousand miles an hour, and then this uh, supposed ball is supposed to be doing sixty-seven thousand miles an hour around the sun. I can't see that really. And then the sun is supposed to be doing, you know, whatever gazillions, billions, trillions light years away. Blah, 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 blah. Pathetic. Pathetic. The Bible says the earth does not move and it's on pillars and it's flat and it says that the sun moves and the moon as well but that's another thing uh, and I tell you what the more you walk in the truth with God so from rightly dividing biblical creation you'll understand Satan more you'll see all of um, the Bible is true you can really stand on that word and uh, grow in the Lord and when you get to the judgment seat of Christ Precious stones, gold and silver, wisdom, knowledge and understanding. Have you believed God or your pastor? Did you have to spiritualize everything or were you able to eliminate the confusion and understand that all of the Bible is true and that there are these similarities between Jewish program, Israel program and the body of Christ, um, you know, they are different. Were you able to understand that God at different times, as he says in the beginning of Hebrews, spoke to different people for different reasons and given them different instructions? Like in the Philippines, I love Baboy and so do you. Baboy is pork, right? I, all, all Baptists, that's two for you. Yeah, but you're still eating your shrimp, your pork. I don't want to be under the earthly ministry of Jesus Christ. Jesus said, repent. And by the way, it's change your mind about who I am. The Jews had to believe he was God because otherwise you perish. So they had to believe he was God and do works, endure to the end, or lose their salvation. And by the way, you had to be baptized then. So the Baptists get that wrong. Uh, you know, now it's a sign of our demonstration of faith, the first step of obedience. Nonsense. Then you actually had to do it. Uh, I mean, the thief on the cross. If he'd come off that cross, he, the first thing he would have had to do is to be water baptised. So there's going to be two people at the judgment seat of Christ. Um, and it won't be your pastor there, and it won't be your denomination. Um, it will be Jesus Christ. That's why it's called the judgment seat of Jesus Christ. And it's those who were able to not spiritualise his word, like he needs speech therapy, he's just confused. I need my pastor to, to really explain what he meant to say. So those who believed him literally, so when he tells you in Matthew 10, 5, that he's, uh, and 6, that he's uh, not sent unto the Gentiles, but only unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. And then in uh, Romans 11, 13, because the words in Romans through Philemon, by the way, are the words of Jesus Christ. It's not Paul's opinion. I'm bored today. What should I write? I don't know. This Romans, there you go. No. They are... All, all, all scripture, 2 Timothy 3.16 and also Galatians 1.11 that uh, he received the revelations by Jesus Christ. And uh, 
are you able to believe that literally that uh, Jesus speaks to Israel only to Israel and then when he when Israel fell in Acts 7 he puts Israel on hold have they stumbled that they should fall no God forbid but salvation has gone to the Gentiles there are in blindness Romans 11 25 Israel is set in, in um, blindness in part as, as, as happened blindness has happened to Israel, Israel till the fullness of the Gentiles be come in and the wrath has come up unto them up to most so you got all these Christians kissing back to Israel but a rather come up upon them to the uttermost they are not done with we don't do replacement or covenant theology they're both heresy they're on hold after the rapture God deals with Israel again so Hebrews through Philemon uh, through Revelation again will be what um, what will be doctrine for ages to come so God speaks to different people for different reasons at different times and he gives different instructions they are similar but they're different it's still the same Jesus and the cross achieved two purposes God in the beginning created the heavens and the earth the cross saved Israel and God will save Israel all Israel shall be saved he's he will accomplish his word what it's meant to do it's going to accomplish that and they inherit the earth and now wait for the Davidic kingdom and the cross also saves the body of Christ with the instructions given to Paul in Romans 11 13 he tells you not only there and um, today salvation is by grace through faith not repent and be baptized but believe that Jesus Christ died for your sins was buried and raised from the dead to fully justify you and forgive you plus zero Christ sent me not to baptize but to preach the gospel lest the cross be made of none effect but in Matthew 28 what does he say in Acts 2 38 it's different things that differ are not the same amen hallelujah